species in the world is on a beach in Burien. It washed up Saturday morning, and since then, hundreds of people have gathered to see it. Harrow 7's Graham Johnson tells us what likely killed the whale and what happens next. Tonight, a rising tide surrounded this whale once more with water. That kept the crowds back a bit, and yet people still kept coming to see this spectacle. Someone left flowers on the rocks near the whale. Most people just came to see something unique. It sounded interesting to look at something dead so big. I saw it on Facebook, and my mom wanted to come see it. <laughs> fin whales like this rarely enter Puget Sound. That's why biologists think the whale was hit in the Pacific Ocean by a ship bound for the sound and got stuck on the ship's bow where the crew couldn't see it. The collision apparently cut the fin whale in two. So much of the whale is missing, biologists aren't even sure of its gender. It's troubling in the sense that it has become an increasingly common phenomenon, especially ship strikes of large whales. In the last 10 years, over a third of the whales that we look at have signs of ship impact. Biologists say fin whales are especially vulnerable to ship strikes because they swim near the surface. Biologists think this whale has been dead less than a week. It's sad. It's sad to see that like that. Steady crowds continued until Burien Seahurst Park closed for the night. Soren Hixenbop hadn't seen a dead whale before, so he brought Mary Mosini in here, telling her they were coming for the sunset. Very romantic. Yeah. He's so romantic for bringing me out here. <laughs> Well, tonight, a spokesman for NOAA told me scientists have finished their examination of the whale. NOAA will look to see if a school or other organization is interested in keeping the whale's skull and work with the city of Burien on coming up with a plan to dispose of the carcass. It took, could take a couple of days to figure out all those details. Three people were hit by a car following a fight. 